Peace, peace, peace. It's your girl, T Speaks. Good morning, all. I just wanted to um, process my dates from last night. I um, actually went on two dates with two different guys yesterday. I don't have any best friends out here, so I have to talk to you guys about it. So there you have it. So you just have to listen to it. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it. So let me see my sayings. Peace, Critter. I, um, I pray that I'm open and honest and raw about my feelings and about the processing of last night. And I thank you just for the opportunity for me to be self-aware and for me to even be conscious enough to even do something like this. So peace. Okay. Um, just to let you guys know, two things, speaker panel, Stockton, California, September 8th, which is a Saturday. I will drop the uh, tickets in the um, comment section. And then also 90 day challenge, I believe. Yes, I'm doing my laundry. I believe that you can change your uh, life in 90 days if you just choose one thing. Get in front of your health, get in front of your wealth, get in front of your relationships, like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and attack it with a vengeance for 90 days. You'll see results. Okay, let's get to the meat of it. So, I went on two dates yesterday with two different guys. Um, I know I could be a bit of a player, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Um, and I wanted to talk about it because they, the two guys come from two separate worlds. Um, and so I'm just going to break this down. It's going to go fast. So stick with me. I got my notes locked and loaded. Okay. Guy one. Where did we meet? We met online. I went online and we met um, about a month ago. Uh, he's 41. He has two kids. He is um, a lucrative contractor. He has a few contracting businesses. Um, we've already been on three dates. Well, yesterday was our third date. And um, our dates usually consist of drinks, fancy dinners, walks downtown, him just, you know, spending money, steak dinners, like all that good stuff. I even got a ticket last night for parking, right? I didn't put enough money in the meter. He, he just like took it off my car and he was just like, I'll pay for it. And so he's one of those types. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? He's the Instagram type, the one that likes to, you know, look flashy and, you know, always, you know, have it going on. He's that type, okay? Guy number two, <laughs> and names will remain anonymous <laughs> to protect the innocent. <laughs> Guy number two, he we met at the laundromat in a really natural setting. Um... He's 25, he's a little bit younger than I. Um, he has one kid, he's a warehouse worker, which is consistent to what a 25 year old might, you know, be doing around this time. Um, we already went on one date, which was yesterday. It took us about a week to uh, hunker down and get a date. Um, a week from, get, you know, from exchanging phone numbers, which is pretty good. And um, our date consisted of, we just went to, you know, the local BJ's restaurant. We walked around the mall. We ran some errands with each other. We just kind of hung out for like three, four hours and just did a little pilly stuff, right? Um, and so th those are the stats. I thought it's important to tell you guys the stats because one, I'll let you guys know for the women who are you know, seeking, or even for the men too, who are seeking relationships, you can meet people just like all over the place. You can meet them online. You can meet them at the local grocery store, the laundromat, like, which is where I met mine. And um, also just to let you guys know, like what I do when I'm going, when I'm dating, I'm not Netflixing and chilling on the first night. Okay. I'm not um, smoking and drinking and kicking it. Like we're actually going to do something. <laughs> yeah there you have it all right moving right along so my date last uh my date yesterday with guy number one which is the contractor the one i met online um it was our third date in a month of knowing each other and so we 
had the future talk. You guys know what that is. Where Where is this going? Blah, 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 blah. And he pretty much gave me an ultimatum, <laughs> which I didn't appreciate. <laughs> he was like, I don't want you dating anybody else. I don't want you seeing anybody else. I don't want you spending time with anybody else. Like, you're mine, pretty much. And I was just like, okay, well, let me drop this bomb on you, bruh. I'm absent. <laughs> I haven't had sex in a year. He was like, what does that mean? I have to Google that shit. And we can keep about that. You know, but we had to have, like, the talk, you know, and his reaction to me not having sex. I was like, eventually, you know, he was like, well, you know, that's your choice. But, you know, if I go to um, a conference this weekend and I meet a beautiful woman and we end up in the bed together, I'm going to, you know, have protection on. But that's what I'm going to do. And so we just had to have like a frank, honest conversation with each other. He just had to keep it a, a hundred with me. And, um... I kind of tailspinned um, out of control a bit and you know he was like what does that even mean about your abstinence like how long like I don't understand like I'm attracted to you and I didn't want to get into the details as to why I'm abstinent but I just wanted to let him know I, I did let him know that you know eventually we'll get there just I'm taking things really slow so not right now um, and yesterday was the first time we even kissed. So that just shows y'all asses how slow I'm going. I'm like a turtle, okay, with this dating. Um, sad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Let me be careful and choose my words wisely on this video. It's not sad, it's real. I've been really, you know, I've had some, some battle wounds, man. I got some battle scars dealing with these guys. Yo, I ain't about to just jump in the bed with your ass on the first date. Or even a fourth date. Okay. So I went to the bathroom. I got all teary I was. I had to excuse myself all dramatic. My dramatic ass. And I went to the bathroom and I shed a few tears. And I talked myself off the ledge. Because it was my first time having a conversation with you know um a guy about the truth of my abstinence and so I didn't know like those emotions would come up out of me I thought it would be business I thought it would be like I'm gonna tell you I'm abstinent you say oh yeah this is cool I'm gonna be abstinent with you <laughs> we can do this let's do this together I'll run this marathon with you girl no <laughs> it was not like that at all he was like, you know, do you. <laughs> I'm going to do me. In the meantime, I don't want you seeing nobody else. And when I call and check up on you, you better be available for me to hang out with. That's pretty much <laughs> what happened. Um, what do y'all think about it? How did you guys interpret what happened last night from what y'all can gather from what I'm able to spit out? Drop it in the comment section. Would you wait? If somebody dropped that bomb on you, would you, like, patiently wait for somebody if they said, I'm not having sex yet? Or would you, you know, be like, well, I'm going to tell you I'm waiting. But, oh, shoot, if somebody slide through real real quick, I'm going to go ahead and hit it and act like nothing happened. Because you waiting, not me. So it's just a bunch of tangled hairs when it comes to the abstinence and dating in 2018. I'm finding out. Um... And like I said, he's the well-to-do guy. He invited me up to his penthouse suite <laughs> in downtown. Um, you know, we're on the 15th floor and shit. And I'm overlooking the city. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. You know, but um, yeah, I'll save the processing for later. Okay, because it's getting me. Guy to date. All right, so that date happened earlier in the day, right? I'm, like, really focusing on my laundry basket. That date happened earlier in the day. So we went to lunch. Um, it was our first date. We went to BJ's. And, I mean, it was fun. It was, like, you know, maybe because he's young. He's 25, like I said before. He's a warehouse worker. He's down to earth. He's, um, he's not so, like 
haughty, high maintenance. He's not like Instagram, Snapchatting and shit. You know what I mean? Like he's more just around the way ninja. You know what I mean? And it just makes me feel relaxed. I noticed my body language was like more relaxed. I was leaning instead of sitting up. Um, we, you know, we're holding hands on and off. We, the date was over, but I was like, you want to go run an errand with me? I got to stop by party city real quick and look at some stuff for my event coming up. He was like, yeah. And he just came through and, um, there was a lot of love bombing going on. So he's totally infatuated <laughs> with me saying things like, you know, you wifey, you wifey, and just being like this ghetto head dude, you know, that's just like all into you, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I didn't tell him about my abstinence because it's too early, uh, we don't even need to be talking about that shit yet. Um, our reaction to one another was that we really just like, we just had fun with each other. We laughed, we bantered, I didn't have to worry about how I looked, I didn't have to feel, you know, like, like, prim perfect, actually, like, the worst that I looked, like, it just, it felt natural, he was like, his hands were in my hair, like, he was really touchy-feely, it was just, like, a good time, it was, like, a really good time, um, how did my dates end? What do you guys think about that? Let me pause. Because I could just go a mile a minute. What do y'all think about the second date? The just the natural around the way guy. The guy that doesn't really have that much money. Doesn't have that much going on in life. You know. But he has a job. And he takes care of his kid. And I mean. I don't know. Is that somebody that you guys would you know be interested in or or the girl even for that matter for the guys that are listening a girl that just you know is not like obsessed with material stuff maybe because she doesn't have the money for it yet or just because she's just not into that stuff she doesn't give a damn what kind of car you drive or what's going on in your pocket let me know in the comment section help me process this shit okay um I'm going to talk about some common themes that occur that I noticed. You guys may have noticed other stuff listening to me chitter chatter uh, for the past 12 minutes. But some common themes that I noticed was both acts for me to be like exclusive to date them only exclusively. So I, I missed that part. Guy number two, he did. He was like, I don't want you seeing nobody else like on the first date. He was like, you're mine. Like, both of them were just gay, pretty much gave me an ultimatum. <laughs> um, both asked me for a nightcap. Um, they wanted me, guy number two wanted me to come back over, wanted me to come over his house last night. And I was like, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Guy number one, which is the one that I saw in the evening, he was like, stay with me tonight. And... He was like, you can sleep in my bed. We can wake up in the morning and have breakfast. And he just made it sound so magical, right? I'm like, he's like, it looks really pretty at night overlooking the city. Like, he really tried to use his damn $3,500 a month penthouse to freaking lure me into a nightcap. And I was just like, no, you know, I'm just, I'm just not ready and just playing that shit right. And I really wasn't ready. I wasn't. Um, so both scheduled for a time to see me next within the next couple of days and they texted me when I got home. And so I said all that to say, ladies and gentlemen, especially ladies listening after a date, first of all, the man, they usually want to solidify a next date if they're really feeling you right. If you wonder, if you ever wonder if a guy's feeling you, they usually want to solidify and schedule a next date, like within the next like two to three days. So the guy number two I'm seeing today, and then guy number one I'm seeing Tuesday, he's going to go and uh, buy groceries, and we're going to cook at his penthouse t um, for the evening and have dinner. Um, they both texted me when I got home, so ladies, if you're ever wondering, I'm here to tell you, if, they, if men want you, they will text you, they will call you, they will be after you, they are hunters. I don't know who in the hell lied to us. 
this whole feminist movement and fuck this all up okay yeah i slipped an f-bomb in there because for some reason the landscape has changed and women are the hunters now and the men are just sitting back allowing all these women to like barrage them with attention and text and flirtations and throwing the yanni at them and you know what i'm saying but um but me i'm doing the complete opposite and i'm getting in my opinion better results i'm letting them come after me i'm raising my value by allowing the man to come after me so you know you guys get in the comment section i want to know what you guys think about this conversation um it's a lot um because you know there's pros and cons to both guys um but more so in dating i get to experience me <laughs> and so like when i say that i mean like when i'm around one guy i can i can feel a certain way when i'm around another guy i can feel another type of way um and i don't know do you guys feel that way sometimes you feel different around different people that you date what does that mean does it mean that we're being fake in that moment or does it mean that that's what that person is bringing out of us at that time i don't know help me process that shit please let me know about that one um so like really quick example then i'll get off the, i'll get off this phone call with y'all let y'all enjoy y'all day um and laugh about me <laughs> in my dating shenanigans uh, um so guy number one i was really surprised that i like had a fucking meltdown about my abstinence and I had to excuse myself like it just caught me off guard and I literally went in the bathroom and I and I dried my little tears and I was like it's okay you can do this don't you know don't worry you know that's why you work out you work out you push through if you could push through in the gym you can push through right here don't run away don't get overwhelmed by your feelings like I literally had to tell myself that because I was afraid now we're having a conversation because I was afraid that he would, I would walk back and he'd be like, you know, I can't do this. Like, I wish you the best, but I'm not going to do this with you. Um, and in my mind, that's what I was preparing myself to hear. Um, but it didn't happen that way. And he still wants to spend time with me. And he's just like, you know, I could see you as my girlfriend. I can see you around my kids. Like, you know, in a year's time, we can, you know, be doing stuff together, traveling, like all this stuff. And, you know, I want to buy you a bathing suit. He's all about his money. So that surprised me about myself. What surprised me about myself about guy two, or yes, guy two, the 25 year old, uh, the younger cat. It was funny because we were love bombing each other the whole day, right? We were just like all over each other, like little butterflies just floating up in the air. Like it was a point when I went to, um, and I forget that I do this in relationships. I can be really clingy at times. Like I want to go everywhere with you. Like I don't even want you to go to the bathroom <laughs> without me like knocking on the door and saying, what are you doing? I can really be like a Barbie doll in your face. Um, and so I went to the, uh, we parked at Party City. He was like, I just want to, you know, smoke my, you know, my joint out here real quick. He, you know, he'd be smoking. And I was like, no, come in the, come in the store with me. It's going to take too long. And he was like, babe, I, <laughs> let me smoke. I was like, come on. He was like, fine. And he like came to, and then he was like walking with me to the store. He was like, all right, babe, I'll go with you. I was like, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm doing too much. And I just like went back and forth and then he stayed outside and, handled his business and then came in later and so I just forget that I can be such a girly girl you know what I mean because I'm so used to being all like in my my masculine mode most of the time my single black woman single mother stronghood mode <laughs> what do you guys do what surprises you when you get in a relationship I'm curious and when you start like starting to get to know somebody like what surprises you about yourself leave it in the comment section i want to know am i the only one that just you know does little junior high school stuff like that that was my day wish me luck on this journey i hope you all are having an awesome week i hope you all are 
you know, just chewing on um, the content that I'm providing. If you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the share button. Be sure to drop me a comment. Send me a message. Let me know, you know, if you guys are cool with what I'm discussing. If you're not, then change the channel. <laughs> um, and if you have any, you know, suggestions for topics. I'm down to talk about it. So, I love you guys all. Uh, speaker panels, uh, Stockton, September 8th, uh, Saturday, and a 90 Day Challenge. Change your life in 90 days. I'm getting in front of my relationship status in 90 days. I believe I can change my life, but I got to put action behind the thoughts. That is the key to it. Um, Till next time, love you guys. T-Speaks.